Yo, what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man. And this is how I went down with my song, Reach for the Stars. I have flew Edan <clears throat> out to LA to come work in the studio with me for like a week or two. Um, Edan is from Pittsburgh. He's my mentor, my OG, like the person who taught me how to write songs and really like gave me my first opportunity in the studio. He played a beat and I, I instantly got a melody for the, the hook. Um, based off of how the beat sounded. So it was like, dun, 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 dun. I'm like, okay, that sounds cool. And then, um, yeah, I just like smoked a joint, kind of relaxed for like <clears throat> three to five more minutes. And then the words started to come to me. It's like, might as well reach for the start. Way up in the air. I'm like, okay, it's cool. It's like a little motivational song. It feels good. It's gonna make people feel good. So I went in and I laid the hook, like just off rip, and then um, did the verse in like five or 10 minutes. I do my verses really fast. And it was just something where I was like, man, this is a really good idea. I love this song. It sounds good. I did it in the mixture of like, you know, four or five songs that night. So there was no telling where it was gonna go. And um, I think Steve Lobel just called me out of nowhere, who's Bone Thugs and Harmony's manager, and was like, yo, I'm with Crazy Bone right now, and we want to get on a song. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I've been a huge Bone Thugs and Harmony fan, like forever. I have a tattoo of them on my leg. I got that like five or six years ago, and I always looked up to them. It was a dream to be on a song with them because Crossroads was like one of my favorite songs ever. And I remember hearing that and never think I was gonna hear it again just because it was so tight. I'm like, this song is so good. I'll never hear it again. Like I remember saving up my allowance to buy their tapes, you know what I mean? So I'm like really, really a Bone Thugs and Harmony fan. So Steve Lobel called me up and he said that he had Crazy Bone with him. And um, Crazy came to the studio and really like we just smoked and chilled, like vibe for about the first half hour, 45 minutes, I didn't even play any music. We just talked and kind of smoked and just got the vibe. And then um, I ran through a couple of tracks. I played one that I thought they might like, and then I played another one that I thought they might like. In the back of my head, I already knew that Reach for the Stars was the one, but it was like, I kind of buttered them up and like led them into it. So it was like, here's one, yeah, you might like that one. And it was like, bam. I hit him with Reach for the Stars, and he immediately was like, yo, this is the one. He did his verse that night, and I sat on that verse for like maybe like a month before I met the next Bone member <laughs> um, to jump on, and it was Lazy Bone. Um, he recorded his verse. We were at, uh, I mean, Paramount in Hollywood, and um, I was there chilling. Actually, Steve had called me and was like, yo, I got Lazy. He's gonna drive up two and a half hours to come record this verse. So you're gonna be in the studio tonight. I'm like, of course. It took him about, you know, like 20 minutes. Of course, we smoked and vibe before because that's what I like to do. Like, I don't like to jump straight into business. I wanna get you high first and have you on your best, at your best. He knocked it out, went back home, two and a half hours drive, and then we went to the club and celebrated. And then um, the last pieces came together. We were at Encore in Burbank, and this was another night. I think Bone had actually had a show, and Steve called me and was like, I got three more members of Bone Thugs of Harmony right here. Let's finish the song. And they all came in, wrote their verses, recorded it right there on the spot. After each verse was put together, it took like four or five days <laughs> just sitting in the studio, smoking and moving each verse around <laughs> and trying to figure out which one made the most sense in in each place and it was a process it was it was it was a really really long grueling process but it was awesome because i got to hear their verses over and over and over again and in the end um the song came together to be what it is <laughs>